hey it's Ajlal and in this video I'm gonna show you how Content Gorilla works. Now 18 months ago when we first came out with Content Gorilla our goal was simple we just wanted to make content creation fast and easy for an average user and 18 months later with the feedback of over 3600 users we have developed much more on this idea and have a lot of new features now. Basically what Content Gorilla does is it allows you to convert YouTube videos into text format that you can then publish onto your WordPress website. So you can even download it in text or PDF format and publish it wherever you want, however you want. Um, there are basically no limits to that. And since the content is coming from YouTube videos, there's a very good chance that it's completely unique and it doesn't have any copies on the web. And the thing is that the YouTube database is ever growing with thousands of videos uploaded daily. So you will probably never run out of content to publish. So that's pretty much what Content Gorilla can do. Now, without further ado, let me dive in and show you exactly how Content Gorilla works. It's actually very simple to use. Once you have added your website and added your API keys, what you have to do is you, have, you can come here on our search bar on the main dashboard and you can simply search for whatever kind of video you are looking for. So let's say I want a, I have a review blog and I want to review something. Let's say I want to review a solid state hard drive. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, type in the keyword and it's also going to give me search suggestions because that's what we do, right? We make sure that users don't run out of content ideas. So content Google will also show you a lot of um, different search suggestions. These come straight from Google. So you can be assured that these are the kind of keywords that are going to get you a high amount of that are basically being searched a lot, right? Then you can order the videos either by relevance, recency or views, and then you can define if you want videos with any license or you just want creative common videos. Now, once you have defined that, you can simply go ahead and click on the search button. Now, Content Gorilla will basically bring all the videos that contain closed captions that we can work with. And uh, once you have this, you can go ahead and preview the video to make sure the content is it's hard to believe that all your photos up to your par. And once you have selected your video, it's just as simple as hitting the create post button. That's all you have to do. Content Gorilla will automatically convert this entire thing into a perfectly created piece of content. And you're now ready to publish this on to your WordPress blog. You can obviously go ahead and make any edits and changes that you might want to make. Um, we also have some pretty cool features that allow you to um, automatically add punctuations. So there are some scenarios where the videos don't have punctuations and uh, things like commas, question marks and full stop. So you can simply use our add punctuation feature and it's basically going to find every place where there's supposed to be punctuation and it's automatically going to add in the punctuation. You can also add images from our library of images. You can simply go ahead drag and drop this and it's going to get added into your post. That's how easy it is. And once you have your piece of content ready, once you're ready to publish this, you can just simply go ahead and uh, publish it. Uh, something else that we can you know, we also do is that we add the read more links, um, which is basically us internal linking your site to more content. This way you can really reduce your bounce rate and you, you know, you can just keep your users engaged onto your site. Besides that, we also have a grammar correction feature. What, what this does is it allows you to fix any sort of grammar errors. There might be inside the content. There's going to be a full breakdown of the features somewhere on this page. So you can just scroll below for that, but I'm just going to give you a quickly quick overview and show you exactly how publishing works. Now, once you have your piece of content ready, you can simply go ahead and select your feature image. By default, what we do is we fetch the thumbnail image from YouTube and add that. So when this is published, this is going to be your 
featured image on your blogs. Then we have tags. Now what tags do is they notify search engines to list your content for these particular keywords. We already fetch tags from YouTube itself. And since these are high ranked YouTube videos, which um, are basically displayed for these particular keywords, there's a very good chance that these post tags are going to be very related to the kind of content that you're going to be publishing. And what that means is you're going to be getting much higher rankings on Google. You can obviously go ahead and add commas and add more of your own tags and all. And once you're done with that, you can move on to the syndication feature, which is personally something I love. Now, what the syndication feature does is it allows you to syndicate your content onto your social media channels in just one click. So as soon as you publish your content onto your blog, what's going to happen is it's automatically going to publish that content onto your social media sites as well. Basically, you can um, change the content that goes on these posts so you could make it say something like check out my new post then so, uh, something pretty cool that we have also done is that we have given you a very new feature that allows you to create custom images so you can select a you know um a or uh, pre-made background for you and you can simply say You can, you know, make it say pretty much anything that you want. And once you click on the add image button, this image automatically gets added. Now, as of this moment, we're currently adding much more background templates and colors and all that stuff. So by the time that you're going to be getting access to content color, you will see much more than what I am seeing right now. And besides that, we also have the thumbnail image, which we fetched from the YouTube video. If you wish to post that, you can. If you don't, simply delete it. Then you can basically select all the facebook pages twitter accounts or linkedin accounts that you have already integrated inside content gorilla and uh, you can define whether or if you want to include the post link and once that is all defined you can come over select your website select the post status you can select the categories you want to publish it onto and you can define whether you want to include the feature image or not and you can also include the video inside the post if you want to. If you don't, just leave this box unchecked. Now, another feature that is basically a universal feature, and I'm gonna go into the settings and show you that here, is the attribution text feature. Now, what this does is it allows you to give attribution back to the original owner and what basically happens is this particular text, it's going to be linked with the video, video's original URL. So uh, this way you can, you know, really play it, play it on a safe side and, you know, don't have anything to worry about in terms of copyrights. So you can enable this, change the text if you want. And, you know, once you're ready, you can just go ahead and publish it. So I'm going to do that right now. And in the meantime, let me go ahead and open up my Facebook pages and Twitter and LinkedIn accounts as well. So I'm just going to show you how the syndication worked. I'm just going to give it a second to publish the post. And now that it's been published, we can go and check all of our things so firstly i'm going to reload the site to see how it looks on the main site as you can see we have our post right here let's go ahead and preview it and it looks exactly the way we created it so that's perfect. And now as you can see here, we have the read more tag. This is basically linked to another post on our blog. So this keeps the user glued to your website and helps reduce the bounce rate, which is a very big factor that Google uses in terms of ranking your content. 
besides that as you can see we have a as found on youtube link and uh, it's linked to the original video so you have now given attribution to the original owner as well how cool is that right now let's go ahead and check our social media pages so i'm just going to quickly reload this one and as you can see we have our post published with the exact image that we created and we have the link to our post now let's go ahead and check Twitter as well. Here, as you can see, it just popped up and it's published. Let's go ahead and check LinkedIn as well. And on LinkedIn, we integrate with your own profiles as well as your company profiles as well. So you can publish on either of those. As you can see, it's it has been published here as well. So let's go ahead and take a look. Yep, absolutely awesome. So that's you know just kind of how content gorilla works there are much more features that if i go in detail in this video it's going to get very long so there's going to be a complete breakdown on this this page on the page you're currently on so make sure you check out everything that's included in your content gorilla account again we're barely scratching the surface with this feature what i've just shown you is the most basic level of content gorilla and there's going to be a detailed breakdown of every feature that is included in your account today when you scroll below. I look forward to seeing you on the inside.